Hello, Mark Laudy here at the IR Magazine Conference and Awards 2009 in Singapore. Companies in Indonesia very often have large international shareholders, but due to language and cultural barriers, getting out to those shareholders is very often a very important part of an investor relations officer's job. Much more than simply releasing routine statements, it's about making sure that those statements are communicated and understood. And Cameron Tuff, who's the head of investor relations at Adaro Energy in Indonesia, is with me. How do you bridge these cultural gaps? Uh, it is difficult. It uh, has taken a, a long time to develop, uh, you know, a mechanism that really does uh, does work. But uh, at the end of the day, it's about creating shareholder value, and uh, that's cross-cultural. So uh, we we do, uh, you know, uh, keep very focused on that, and uh, that resonates across cultures. Do you find yourself playing the role of an interpreter to some extent, where you take the message from management and interpret it for international investors, given obviously that you are not Indonesian, uh, that that you act as that. Uh, that uh, that me mechanism, as it were. Yeah, you know, I think uh, definitely. You know, I, I speak Bahasa, and I've, I've been in Indonesia for ten years, so I, I do uh, do that. But I think as well, IR, uh, you tend to take the feedback from the market and present it to the board in a way that's palatable. So it's something that you do as an IR professional, anyways. But certainly in Indonesia, even more so because of the uh, the cultural differences. So it's a two-way street. It's not just from management to shareholders, but the other way around. Absolutely, yeah. I think the uh, uh, the, the the IR is a, is a uh, you know it's providing information, it's messaging, it's making sure that information is given in a timely and balanced way, uh, but it's also giving the board the feedback from the market, which can help uh, form uh, corporate strategy and whatnot. How do you find Indonesian management style, and and how receptive are Indonesian managers to that feedback from the market? Uh, yeah, that, that is a, a good question. Uh, I think in general it's more consensus based. Uh, I think decisions, uh, uh, you know, uh, tend to take a little bit longer, uh, but uh, uh, because it is consensus based, so uh, sometimes, uh, you know, the feedback from the market can be quite abrupt and direct and this kind of thing. So again, my job would be to uh, put it in a context that uh, uh, will be effective for the Indonesian management style. Lastly, what's the key message for investor relations officers watching? What's in your toolbox uh, that you think all investor relations officers in your position should have? I would say focused multi-pronged campaigns. Uh, you know, I think that uh, there's so much media out there that if you're trying to do everything in every uh, type of magazine or uh, media that's out there, you're going to be ineffective. So focus on a particular conference and then uh, attack from all angles and all forms of media, but very focused on, on a particular uh, event or conference. So uh, not just spreading yourself too thin. Very focused and multi-pronged. Thank you very much. We'll let you get back to the, uh, to the conference now. Cameron okay. Tuff from Adaro Energy.